I'm joined now by Professor Robert McIntosh, Chair of the Chartered Association of Business Schools. Robert, thank you for joining me. How do business schools contribute public good to society and the economy? So our business schools are a huge part of the university sector in the UK. They contribute nearly four billion pounds to our economy and they represent more students than any other discipline in the UK university sector. We offer MBA programmes that prepare people for life at the high end of corporate careers, but we also deliver a whole range of undergraduate and postgraduate programmes that prepare people for roles in charitable, public sector organisations, family businesses and indeed in startups. And roughly one in four of all the startups in the UK founded by students involve people who started studying business. And so our graduates go on to make a huge difference in the economy, shaping the products and services that we encounter in every part of our lives and as centres of excellence in what works and why in business, both through the research that we do and in the teaching and learning that we do, they make a huge difference to society. How is the research undertaken at business schools uh, helping to make life better? So it's abundantly clear, no matter where you look, that the world faces big challenges in terms of climate and sustainability and social inclusion. And the answers to those challenges don't just lie in technological innovation. Um, as an engineer myself, I know that the science and breakthroughs that will shape the future for us are important, but they're not enough on their own. Every scientific breakthrough needs a business or a business model or an interface with the end user that will change the way in which we live. Take one example of reducing single-use plastics in retail. Material science may produce new packaging, but equally there are parts of that which relate to the logistics, the manufacture, the pricing, the consumer behaviour that we need to see changing. And it's the business schools that are at the heart of that softer and person-centric and business research that deliver real change. So what can the government do to support uh, research to have an even greater impact on society and the economy? Well, as an academic and a researcher, you'd expect me to say that I'm delighted that the UK government has set a target to increase its investment in research and development to 2.4% of GDP by 2027. But the government could do two other things that would really ensure that that research spend makes a big impact on society. First, it could recognise the centrality of business practice in the transition from research labs to commercially viable products and services. And second, it could prioritise research funding for business. Currently, only 1% of the UK spend on research finds its way into the business school community. And in real term scales, that investment has fallen by 18% over the last decade, whilst over the same time frame, funding for STEM research has grown by 21%. And combined, a big gap has begun to open up between the funding of business and the funding of science. And I would urge the UK government to spend slightly more of its money addressing that gap and ensuring that the, the science that we do conduct makes a real difference in the real economy beyond the laboratory. Now, how can business schools help to create a better future for this generation and for the next? So our business schools, of course, educate the leaders of future organisations and in training those students of ours just now to make better decisions about the resources that they use, about the equality of the opportunities that they create and about the innovations that they produce, our business schools end up shaping the world in which we will live in the future. And they do so in a whole range of public, private and charitable organisations. And we can help by preparing those graduates to make decisions in the face of what is evidently a rapidly changing environment and by equipping them to balance the financial and societal and environmental concerns in the decisions and investments that we make. And we, often, we have to help them think longer term about the, diff, the relationship between here and now performance and the kinds of results that we will secure over the medium to longer term. And doing that in a way which is informed by best practice research on what works and why, and making sure that our teaching is, uh, is research informed is, is what the business school community could do to generate uh, better businesses in the future. What else is top of the agenda right now for your members? Of course, for the business school community uh, just now, we are all focused on playing an active part in shaping a sustainable and inclusive economic recovery. And business schools are engaged with a whole range of types of organisations and individuals to help 
foster the kinds of innovation and skills and resilience that are going to be needed as the economy recovers from the global pandemic. And looking beyond the pandemic, the business models that we use, the way in which we work, the extent to which remote working forms a part of our future is something that the business schools are really focused on, trying to make sure that we learn the best lessons out of the difficult circumstances that we find ourselves in. Mm. A vital role. Professor McIntosh, thank you very much. Thank you.